So this is the parts for the Null Nano by Ampersand. Well, most of them are here. There's a few off camera here. There's a few rubbers, buttons, and screws. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna go for black or silver. I'm probably gonna, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, the PCB turned out nice. Gold finish. So hand rooted it's a very nice looking pcb i gotta be honest and it's uh, all of ampersand stuff you can always tell he's done it just by looking at the pcb it's uh but yeah don't totally worth doing the gold finish on this because it'll be viewable through the clear case plus the these are helped the buttons are helped by having a gold finish you know there's less resistance there it might last tiny bit longer maybe as well uh, yeah there's a, one change I did make a tiny little change and uh, there's just a change this amp into a different package size because uh, I had the you know I actually reuse stuff that I've got basically so these came from AliExpress and uh, so anyway I, I just changed the package size there but I uh, didn't change any of the routing yeah lovely looking PCB and then these have come from had these printed by JLC PCB that have a service that will print you clear resin stuff and it's it's not too bad I mean it's the, the finish on these is not bad it's I, I was uh, quite impressed they're not perfect um, by any means but for what you're paying like 20 bucks I think these are pretty amazing and definitely be using this service again because I can't do resin and uh, it's, it's just great to not have to worry about doing the cases and all the finish on the cases just buy it it's great I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm totally sold on this uh, but yeah that's all the bits and uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna be starting with will be the ESP32 because I'm gonna actually hot plate that on just the thing that had me confused here is that uh, this is slightly goes slightly over the edge of the PCB, and I was thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to file this, file this down or something, file off the antenna. Um, but there is actually, I then realised that Ampersand's made a is it on the top of the bottom. I think there's a yeah, there's a little notch in the case, so that. Um, so that fits in, so it overhangs very slightly. But yeah, that's the that's that bit I will hot plate and then everything else will be just hand soldered.
So it's gone together. I did have some trouble with the programming. I mean, always do. And I had a premonition this is going to happen anyway. But you're supposed to program it, to program the ESP32 with a USB to UART because it doesn't have its own program. It doesn't have its own chip on there to program it. So uh, you're supposed to use these points here. And everything I tried just didn't work, so I don't know what's going on. I mean, this is untested. I've not really just bought this all off AliExpress, so it could be that, or, or it could be that I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, the only way I could get around it is to desolder the whole ESP32, solder it onto the a dev board, program it, and solder it back, which is a real faff about. But it worked. It got there. Yeah. Looks good. I mean, uh, very happy with the way it's turned out. You can hear the speakers there. Nice little slide of the sound. I think that sounded a little bit better when it's in the case. Yeah, the other thing was uh, I didn't use, I used uh, Dynamite's slightly more up-to-date version of RetroGo for this project. So I'll put the link in the description. So I've just got to get in the case. And I'm using black buttons. I, I fancied black buttons. I think they're going to look slightly better. I'm using the thinner D-pad. That looks better to me. And I'm probably going to go for black screws. I'm going to go for black screws. I'm just hoping it doesn't split the case. Um, but yeah, here we go. So, finally get that off. Oh, yeah. So, get the buttons in. Better take that out just in case. That should be fine. So that appears to be all right. Final, final last bit. So yeah, beautiful project, brilliant project by Ampersand. Don't ask me for if you got any questions. I'm not the right guy. This is not my nothing to do with me. <laughs> just get that. Just get it out of there. Yeah. So I think the black ones do look better. Um, this is this is the bit that's making me nervous because I just can see this thing splitting for some reason. I think what I'll do is I'll just get them in really gentle and then uh, figure it out a bit more off camera because I don't want to make a last minute mistake here. So just barely get them in. Yeah, that's fine. There's lots of things about this project that made me nervous. I only had one screen and uh, I break a lot of screens. That's my thing is uh, breaking screens. I only have one speaker, one screen, one, you know, volume slider. Yeah, dang, that dang, that looks good. <sighs> that looks absolutely awesome. Got to be honest, hats off to you. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to up my game a little bit because uh, you know I've never made anything quite this good or designed anything this good. Uh, Doom again or something different? Oh, Doom it is then, I guess. 
Oh yeah, it's a bit louder with the... A bit louder with the case on. Speaker sounds great. How do you start this game? Yeah, I, no, I, I, oh, I didn't want, no, don't hurt me too much. Right. Can't see what I'm doing. Right, uh, let's, let's do something else. <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins. Just want to see how loud this is actually. Oh. Chippy game, right. So, the Non Nano by Ampersand. Great project. So good looking. And all the links are in, going to be in the description. And uh, thanks for watching.